Welcome back to my channel. So as you already know from the title of this video, it's just a day in the life vlog. Uh, say hi. Uh, um, I haven't really vlogged much lately. I decided to just kind of take like a, I guess it's like a break from social media and from most of my platforms of social media. Not that I'm like any big channel, but... <laughs> Come on, Sedona. But with like the Black Lives Matter movement and stuff, I just really wanted to free my platforms for the most part. And honestly, just let people of color, you know, kind of get the lead over any platform, whether it's YouTube, Instagram, and you know, just like educate myself. And yeah, I feel like it was really helpful and beneficial. And I feel like I learned a lot and you know, I'm still sharing things whenever I can. You know, it's not gonna just fix itself. and. A week but I did want to address that in case you guys are wondering where I've kind of like been on social media something kind of annoying about our backyard right now so I don't know if I mentioned this I think I have in like some of my vlogs but this used to be a shed right here it was like a really big ugly like metal shed and my husband and I decided to take it down and so, you know, we're gonna like put our pool in soon which is gonna go like in this whole space and we didn't want to have the yard taken up by like the pool, the patio, and the shed because, you know, I know I've mentioned that our yard goals are to be like more for the dogs than for us, if that makes sense. And they love swimming so I don't feel bad about like putting the pool in because, yeah, it's for me and the baby and Tony but it's also for them. But we have all this junk back here because we have to take it to the dump, but I've been so busy with work and my husband's been so busy with the second job that he does from home now that he's trying to transition to for a full-time job. And so we haven't, we just haven't been able to finish any of our projects. Another update is that we started gardening. So, well, I wouldn't, I guess, kind of like gardening. We have green beans here and I think these are tomatoes. Then we have some jalapeno peppers, and then we have a bunch of herbs, and we have some other peppers. And technically this is like what my sister started, but I told her that she could start it outside and then we could like hang, it, hang up most of the garden inside because we get a lot of good natural light inside the house. And I just feel like it'll be better than doing it, um, you know, out here because even though we live in Florida and it's like sunny a lot, it's also really dry. And speaking of growing things, so look at the size of my avocados. I'm like crazy excited about this. Um, yeah, so some general life updates. My sister lives with us now, so you might see her in some videos, some vlogs. Um, I'm back to full time, but I work remote, so I did have to hire someone to come in and watch Sedona during majority of the week. And I work, you know, from my bedroom basically because that's where my office is since my sister is here and <laughs> she has like the office as her room. Um, I think I'm gonna do some like icebreaker videos with her anyways to just like introduce her to my vlog channel that way you know whenever we start doing you know if she's like in the background no one like doesn't know who she is basically. Um, another thing I've been just I haven't been dieting and exercising what I've been doing is a lifestyle change. Hi. So basically, I've lost five and a half pounds so far, which is really good because I feel like when you're a little bit larger, you lose weight like pretty quick. And I've been doing this for a few weeks now. Um, I've actually started pretty much doing this whenever I first posted that video with my treadmill. Um, you know, I've like slacked up a little bit as far as like the working out since I've been back from Virginia because we went to Virginia to visit my family because they were like really wanting to see Sedona. Um, but yeah, so 
I'm gonna get back into the working out portion, but I've been like sticking to like portion control or just like choosing healthier options. I did buy some snack foods the other day because I think my period might be coming soon and I just was like craving that. But I mean, but I feel fine. Like, you know, I feel like that's part of why it's a lifestyle change, not a diet. So I know I talked about this in one of my vlogs, but we bought this lawnmower when we lived at the other house. If you've been watching my channel in general, you would know that we bought this house like in March, I think. And so we bought this lawnmower and it's like not charging now because we accidentally left the charger outside in the rain. Ah, there you go. We left the charger outside in the rain, so we're trying to make sure it's not the outlet outside though, so we brought it in to charge, which I know it looks so weird having a lawnmower in here. plans for the day we're just going to hang out she's getting at that age where she's like grumpy if she doesn't get her way um, I do have to do some work like throughout the day but it's really just checking emails so it's super easy and I am probably I'm not I have to finish laundry and I might try to clean my room I would love to show you guys my room but it's just like a disaster it's embarrassing um, I might do like a clean with me in there just to like make myself more motivated, but I probably won't have that in this vlog. It'll just be its own thing. Um, but yeah, so if you hear Sedona getting kind of whiny, I think she's in a leap technically. And she is 14 months now, so she's like at that age where like she realizes that she's not getting something now. <laughs> so sometimes she doesn't get what she wants and then she throws a fit. And we've been trying to work on that by like not necessarily being like mad at her if she throws a fit but just you know explain to her what she can have versus what she can't have i guess if that makes sense another thing i kind of want to do is i want to go through her toys so this is her like play area in the living room and i started to go through things and just like kind of organize them in totes or whatever here but like a lot of them need to be like reorganized already figure out what is like the best form of organization because she just is getting like overwhelmed by everything I guess like we're playing with so many different things and I don't know I my original thought was I was gonna have this thing and just have like a toy on each shelf that way she could just like easily grab it but then it just slowly became like her toy section like she doesn't even have toys in her room I thought about setting some of the stuff up in her room, but we don't really go in there to play. We go in there for books and sleep, really, and like clothes. So I didn't want to like make it as if she didn't have anything out here, I guess. I don't know. We're really torn on what to do. Antioxidant power 100% juice. It's from Aldi. I've seen them like at other grocery stores and different brands So it just has you know, like all of the like berries and stuff Which I think is like really important to have But they're also it's like super everything's like organic juices, organic juices, organic juices. There's not anything like weird in it. So I think it's a winner
I just got done getting ready as you guys saw. I just do a little bit of, you know, skin coverage, which is like a really cheap, I guess, foundation. And then I do like the e.l.f. powder because the foundation I have is kind of light. So I try to add the color back in with the um, foundation. I, I don't know like if everyone can relate, but ever since I moved to Florida, I like never know what skin tone makeup to buy because it's like one week I'm a little bit more tan and then the next week I'm like pretty pale just because you know I'm like working so I'm not always outside basically and uh I don't know it just it's very questionable so today I do have to go to Kohl's and do a return I bought the new Amazon fire stick like remote or whatever for our TV because we actually lost our remote anyways and I really wanted to get the new ones because it has a, a TV power button and it has um, a volume button and trying to like find both controllers I don't know if you all have kids and if your kids if you all have kids and if your kids do the same thing my daughter takes all of my controllers and hides them I think she hides them she might eat them I don't even know where they're at so I was like, at least we only have one to manage instead of two, and whatever. It's like super basic stuff. Um, so I did want to talk about one other thing in this video because, I don't know, I think it's like important to bring up. I don't think that it's like anything super, not everyone's going to relate to this. Let me go grab my coffee, actually. Okay, I just got like super distracted in my phone. <laughs> my friend is pregnant. Her name's Tiffany. You guys can follow her YouTube channel because she started a new like mommy vlog channel and it's really cute and she's actually the reason why I even got into like YouTube. She didn't YouTube before but she showed me a bunch of like vloggers like Aspen and Parker and Desi Perkins and um, so I just, you know, you guys should go follow her and tell her hey and that you came from my channel if you get there. But anyways, so one of the things I wanted to talk about is like super random, but I was thinking about this during my like break or pause from social media and I still posted some updates like with Sedona and stuff, but I didn't really like go ham on posting like products or just whatever. And it was just because I just had this like moment where I like, I'm under, I was under contract with Clorox that I like broke. I basically told them that I didn't want to work with them and it wasn't because there's anything wrong with the brand or there wasn't anything wrong with the post but I was realizing that I was just trying to like work with the company to get the paycheck and I wasn't really being honest with like what I stand for and it's not like I don't use Clorox products I'm sure I have some stuff that's Clorox but um the point is like I'm very much so into like natural stuff and just more like eco-friendly zero waste products and I feel like that's like such a small area like you know so many people don't follow that and I think it's getting better but it's not as popular so you won't really find like major brand deals with companies like that typically and so I was like man I guess I just have to kind of like do whatever if this is something that I want to do for extra income um and yeah I mean it was just not really who I really wanted to work with or in general like honestly there's a lot of work that goes into a social media post as much as you think there isn't there is there's so much planning you have to coordinate with the you know business owner or the social media team um, there's usually a third party involved with your contracts and it's like a lot of back and forth you know then there's negotiating and on top of that there's like you need to have like more professional looking content and all that stuff and it was a lot of work just to like do something for a brand I'm not like totally here for right so I decided not to do it anymore so I was like you know I'm just gonna if I promote anything it's just gonna be things I truly stand for which is like healthy living and you know I love essential oils and I love all natural products I love all natural theater and even if it makes me stink within five hours I prefer the all naturalness of it and just reapplying it you know like I love um, making my own DIY cleaning supplies and things like that and I didn't really like go into that much on this channel because I just feel like it's so like out there I mean it's like I said getting better but anyways I just wanted to kind of I guess just 
call myself out on that because <laughs> I feel like um, it's just something that I feel like it's important to own something that might not be the best or the most genuine and also just kind of like talk about that so you guys know like if I do talk about any brands it's definitely something I stand for and if I do um, I'm not even really trying to make social media a career because I love my full-time job. I work as a case manager for a law firm and I love working in the legal field for, you know, I get to be remote and work full-time and I love it. And then I also do this um, part-time job that's just, you know, checking the emails for a yoga equipment, like an aerial yoga equipment equipment company and I love that because I love doing yoga and aerial yoga is so fun and I plan on you know investing in a lot of her equipment actually because of how fun it is and now I know like more of the details of what you can do from home and stuff so I'm definitely really loving what I do and I don't feel the need to like push social media I genuinely just think it's fun to vlog I think it's super fun I love looking back at the videos I love looking back at videos of Sedona going to Disney World for the first time and videos of Sedona when she was only like four months and I just think it's so cute. I wish I did this earlier I tried doing it earlier with Costa Rica, but that was a flop <laughs> And I can't and I still like looking at those even though those videos suck It's just such fun memories and videos So I plan on um, you know continuing this and I might do some stuff on Instagram here and there It's just gonna be like brands that I truly you know enjoy doing stuff for but no hate if you do the opposite. I don't really care. You're your own person. So, not coming at anybody. I'm just telling you how I feel. Alright, so I just put some chicken in the crock pot and I'm going to use that. I'm going to just like let it cook all day and because it's only 10.10. 10. So, I'm going to let this cook all day and then I'm going to shred it in the, um, shred it and then put it in a container for the week. I don't want to let you down It's the only thing I think about every morning You know my life ain't figured out But I promise if you stick around it'll never get boring We'll spend nights cheap yet lunch, But it's just two peppers with hummus and then some peas and corn um, she liked hummus while I was eating it So I'm gonna try it on her own That's why I'm only giving her two So we'll see if she actually likes it Yummy. My fern is not doing too hot <laughs> inside because the dog, Jordan, Michaela's dog that I babysit, always tries to eat it. My cat goes after it, which they're safe for pets, which is why I bought it. But I want it to thrive, so I'm hoping if I stick it outside, it'll just survive on its own. Because my other one was dying and I put it outside and it was surviving. So I am going to do that now. So yeah, see this one is like beautiful and perfect. And then my foliage thing is growing and then this one's dead. Alright, so Donna and I just shared a pizza Lunchable. It was like a cheese pizza Lunchable. And I'm about to give her some fruit, some blackberries, because... I feel like she's still hungry, so I just wanted to give her kind of like a snack. <laughs> We're on such a weird schedule today specifically because I gave her the um, lunch basically at 11, which was pretty early. Usually she sleeps at 11, but I didn't want her to go all the way from now till dinner time. I didn't want her to go all the way from now to dinner time without eating something. So that's why I shared like a random Lunchable. It wasn't the healthiest, but it's fine. And then now we're going to do, like I said, the fruit. Maybe I'll make her like a little fruit salad. All right, so this is her snack. Looks pretty good to me. So one thing I've been really wanting to do is clean up my fridge. I feel like it's not that bad as far as like gross expired stuff or whatever, but I'd really like to 
kind of just make it look more organized and appealing just to kind of see things better what's in it and also I feel like it motivates you more to like actually use what's in your fridge is the finished look it's not perfect but it's not bad I really just like the idea of having things super easy to grab and super organized so like the fruit is like a must have be able to reach and grab and then I have like all of our berries mixed in here and this stuff is just like hodgepodge I don't know it's like leftovers and half done open sauces and it's just like never gonna look good and then I saw this idea where someone said that they're like less lazy to make breakfast instead of like going to like Starbucks or Dunkin Donuts if they can just like grab an egg and crack it and it's just like that one extra step and so I want to do that but I also hate how much space like all those egg cartons take up so I'm gonna actually get like a better looking like more square shaped basket because I feel like square or like rectangle square shaped shit it just fits better um but for now that's what I have and then I didn't really go everything here was like not expired or old um so yeah I don't know and then the sauces and stuff there's not really much I can do with those but my camera died so I'm using my other camera because I cannot find the charger I don't know where I put it I'm trying to think like where I know I charged it out here last and I would have thought it would have just been sitting out here but it's not and so I looked through like all my camera bags and I cannot find it so I have no clue where I put it, but anyways, um, I'm hoping to do a more, I'm hoping to do like a more zero waste, like shopping thing. I don't know if I said that already, so I'll probably vlog whenever I go to that store, to that bulk store. And then as far as produce goes, well, we're starting to grow some stuff and then I really want to try to figure out like, I have produce bags to take, but it seems like if you buy like the big packs of stuff, you can't really get around that unless you buy things that come like already in like netted bags or whatever. Um, so I'm gonna have to just figure out where's like the best prices to buy single items so that way I'm not buying seven onions and a plastic bag with it. So I'm really working hard on that. Um, that's gonna be my next like venture. And I know it doesn't sound that complicated, but honestly like, Getting re back into like a more like zero waste mindset, even though it's not totally zero waste, of course, is really hard sometimes because there's so many things like I want to invest in. Like I want to get a compost bin for the kitchen, and then I want to get a um, I want to get a juicer so I can make our own juices so that eliminates those plastics. Luckily, the juice that Sedona drinks is already in like a glass jar, which is better for recycling and reusing. But for the juices that Tony drinks, which is cranberry juice, it comes in a plastic bottle. So I'd like to learn how to make my own really yummy cranberry juice with a juicer and a food processor. So that way I can make my own salsas and guacamole and stuff. I have a blender, so I could probably use that, but I feel like it's better in a fruit food processor or like just easier to use. I don't know, it's really stupid, but it's like, there's more space so you can make like a large quantity. Same with hummus, I'd like to make my own hummus. Um, so it's almost like forcing you to be clean eating because you have to make more things from scratch. So that is my goal and my plan for the future. As of right now, I'm just gonna be waiting to purchase the tools that I need and doing what I can in the meantime with the stuff I already have. Um, but if you guys have any random like zero waste tips that you want to share, let me know. But anyways, I'm going to end this vlog here just because I'm kind of annoyed that my good camera died and I'm using this one, which it's fine. It's great quality too, but it's just I hate having like half my videos in one quality and half in the other. And also, honestly, I've been vlogging like all day, so who knows? I probably have enough to fill one whole video. And... I'm going to clean up Sedona's toys while she's asleep and get some emails answered for work and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh yeah, and don't forget to follow Tiffany Yost on YouTube. She, like I said, does like motherhood lifestyle videos. She just started, so she, I think she only has one video up right now, but I know she's working on another one that she's like filming today. 
So definitely, definitely give her YouTube channel a follow and tell her that I sent you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.